वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो टूडे वी विल डू द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ दिस बुक रिटर्न बाय सी आर कोठारी एंड गॉड ऑफ गर्ल सो इफ यू गो ऑन द वेबसाइट ऑफ एमेजन यू विल बी एबल टू सी दैट इट इज द मोस्ट हाइएस्ट रेटेड बुक सो यू कैन सी इफ यू सर्च फॉर रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी बुक्स दिस इज द हाइएस्ट रेटेड बुक इफ यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट यू कैन सी दैट द बुक हैज अ रेटिंग ऑफ 4.4 पॉइंट फोर स्टार्स ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी फोर पॉइंट फोर स्टार्स एंड इट हैज बीन रेटेड बाई ओवर थ्री थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स सो वी विल डू द लास्ट पार्ट एंड दिस हज टू टॉपिक्स द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज क्राइटेरिया ऑफ अ गुड रिसर्च एंड सेकेंड टॉपिक इज प्रॉब्लम इनकाउंटर्ड बाई रिसर्चर्स इन इंडिया सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस लेक्चर कैन गो टू माई टेलीग्राम चैनल इम प्रैक्टिकल क्लासे एंड फ्रॉम देयर you can download the pdf of this lecture so if you go to any one of my videos of this series research methodology and just scroll down over here you can see the first line for downloading the pdf you just have to click on this blue dots and then it will open the telegram channel and over there you can download the pdf and second is thing is that if you want to see the other videos of this series you will see a research methodology course playlist you can click over here and you will be taken to the course playlist and there is the list of all the videos that have been uploaded in this series and you can choose any one of the series to see the video from okay now let's come back to the class so our first topic is criteria of a good research see first criteria of a good research is that it should be logical sorry first criteria of a good research is that it should be systematic the research that has been done should be systematic what do we mean by systematic we have discussed as in the previous lectures that we have to follow a rule that how the steps of the research are being followed which has been discussed in details in earlier chapter those steps have to be followed second one is logical so everything data collection that you will you will do will have to be logical the conclusion that you take out from the data collection has to be logical suppose in a class you are seeing that there are 50 students out of the 50 students uh, 10 students are bad in history or they are facing difficulty in history 10 students are facing difficulty in geography and the rest 30 students are facing difficulty in math so what is the logical conclusion you can come from this uh, you can come after reading all this data that the main problem of the student is in the subject of mathematics this is known as logical third one is empirical empirical means experiment you will come across this term many times when you do research so what is ex empirical empirical is real life evidence what we can observe what we can gain knowledge through experiment by doing the particular thing If you search on Wikipedia for the term empirical, over here you can see based on or concerned with, verifiable by observation or experience. Is verifiable by observation or experience rather than theory or pure logic. So, whatever we observe or whatever we experience from our knowledge, we experiment the things. those things are only known as empirical for example we can say that water falls at a temperature of 100 degrees celsius this will be empirical knowledge because it has been done through experiment and it has been done repeated number of times then comes replicable replicable means that the thing which you are doing should have the same result for example if someone is boiling h2o or water in india and it is coming to 100 degrees celsius the same thing should come in south africa if a researcher boils water in south africa 
that should also come to 100 degrees Celsius. This is only known as empirical. See over here, there are two researchers who are doing experiment. So, if by the first experiment it has been observed that 352 grams is coming, the weight of the product or the weight of the component is 352 grams. If in India it comes to 352 grams, it should be same for the researcher who is doing experiment in South Africa. So this is the whole concept of replicable. Now we will come on to our second topic that is problems encountered by researchers in India. So what are the problems that the researchers find in India? First is lack of scientific training. Lack of scientific training. What is lack of scientific training? That the research methodology that we have to study, we usually study it very late. Usually we study about research when we are doing masters. But then also we get, don't get an overall idea about uh, when we study in masters and we get idea about it in MPhil. But due to the picking up of MPhil, MPhil is cancelled in India. It is very difficult to get the scientific knowledge, the real life knowledge about research methodology. And for this we have to struggle a lot during our PhD. So that is our first lack of scientific training. Second is university connection. In university connection, what we can see, one university is not connected well with other university. Uh, I will give you a real life example. I am. I don't want to reveal in what university I am doing PhD in. So I will just name A. I am doing a PhD in the university A. So there was a research seminar done in A a few days back and the same paper was established, was presented in another university B. This both are central universities and even they don't have the same connection that what uh, topics are being done in research. So this is university connection. Universities are not connected to each other very well. But nowadays through Swayam and other portals like Shodganga, Shodgango 3, we are getting some connection, but it is not up to the level of the connection of the European countries. But we are slowly improving. Third one is the code of conduct. In code of conduct, we can see that in research, there is a part which is called data collection. Data collection. In data collection, we can see the people are not very willing to share the data. The, this is because they are afraid that their privacy will not be respected. Their privacy will not be respected. If you ask any person about which government they like, what all policies they like, what are policies they don't like, they will not say those things. It is because of the fear that there is less code of conduct and there is less punishment for researchers who reveal the names of the participant, participants who have participated in this research. The last one is library management. See, while doing research, you will need a number of websites. Like for example, uh, one website which all of you know is Grammarly. So you will need access to Grammarly on a daily basis. I think the spelling is incorrect over here. So you can understand which website I am talking about. So there is the website of Grammarly and then there are many research papers which you have to pay to read those research paper. Then there are websites like Scopus in which you have to make a certain payment to read the research paper published over there. And there are some plagiarism, plagiarism checkers like Turnitin. Plagiarism checkers are what? They check whether your paper has been copied from some other paper or not. So these are also paid things. You have to pay a subscription for this. So in our library, these are lacking. In libraries of most of the places, these things are lacking. And even the old research paper, data collection is not in, done in a proper way. So 
So these two topics were mostly theoretical and there were less things to understand. So I hope you don't have a doubt in any of these topics. And if you want, you can go through them once in the book. If you have any doubt in them, you can ask me. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will meet in the next video. And if you want to download the PDF of this lecture, you can download the PDF from the Telegram channel Impactica Classes. Thank you so much for watching this video.